Do you suffer from debilitating joint pain, maybe from an injury or arthritis? Have you been told you need joint surgery? Well, wait before you do anything. I have been invited to Phoenix Spine and Joint to meet the doctors here, and I'm with Dr. Nathan Moore, and I have to tell you, I'm a little intimidated. Uh, what, what, where are we right now, Dr. This, Moore? Yeah, this is our one of our in-house operating room suites. Okay, this, this piece of equipment, though, is a little scary. What yeah. is it used for? It's a hip replacement. Yeah. Okay, I know very well about hip right. replacement. Yeah. <laughs> and, and particularly a minimally invasive approach for hip replacement, the direct anterior approach. Okay, so before we talk about that, I wanna talk a little bit about what you guys specialize in here because it's not just about surgery, it's really about the patient experience. People can come to you who don't need surgery? No, absolutely. Um, you know, we like to focus on the entire patient experience and that starts with a phone call. It starts with the first several visits. We determine if um, the patient is, you know, a candidate for surgery or if they need conservative care. Quite honestly, it ends often in conservative care and we're able to, to determine that. And I like to think that we, as surgeons, physicians here, um, can help coordinate a plan with the patient to decide which way is the best way to go. I like that a lot. All right, let's talk about surgery. Um, if by chance you do need surgery, uh, you have said to me, you know what, you want to make sure that you have somebody who is experienced and knows what they're doing. That's what the doctors here at Phoenix Spine and Joint provide? Absolutely. Um, experience is, is key. Someone who's done many, many of these procedures, um, particularly an expert in that exact field that you're looking to, to have treated. For, for example, shoulder, knee, hip, back, uh, a specialist that's yeah. uh, had added training in that field. You also use a lot of technology here, specifically robotics, and it can be a little uh, intimidating to the patient. It's like, you mean a robot's doing my surgery? But that's not really the case, is it? No, absolutely not. Um, a lot of people wonder if the robot is doing the surgery for you, and that's ultimately um, not the case with the robot that we utilize. Uh, this robot is more like an assistant. It's really like an added set of hands, someone that can help guide the instrument into the exact position, placement, and uh, accuracy that's unprecedented, really. You use other technology too, like creating 3D models and things like that. Why is that important to me as the patient? Well, if you think about it, we can go into the surgery preoperatively with a plan. The patient's 3D image of their joint is already there, and we can actually place the implant in that position move it around, uh, decipher what sizes that patient's gonna need. So ultimately this creates a unique surgery um, through this process. One of the other things that you guys are very proud of and, and, and our viewers are gonna now know why is that you do all of this in-house. A patient can come in at seven o'clock in the morning and go home at 11 that morning? Absolutely, uh, no longer are those three day stays in the hospital necessary. I mean, this isn't your mom's knee replacement anymore. Uh, so ultimately, you can come in at seven in the morning and be gone before lunchtime. That is crazy. And that's important for so many reasons. You know, we are in a pandemic. What are, what are some of the safety issues uh, to us as a patient of going home that day? Well, um, you know, a lot of people wonder, you know, can I even have a joint replacement outside of a hospital? Because traditionally, that's always been how it is. But absolutely, we use um, different alternative techniques in anesthetic care. Uh, to provide the pain relief that's necessary for people to still be able to go home same day. And we utilize minimally invasive and particularly muscle sparing techniques that allow for that same. So faster recovery, faster recovery less, less pain. Time. Um, real quickly, with robotics, are all patients a good candidate for that? I would say absolutely. If you're a candidate for a total joint replacement, you're typically a candidate for robotics. All right. Like you said, it's not your mama's joint replacement anymore. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Dr. Moore. Here's more information. Phoenix Spine and Joint. They have three locations, Scottsdale, Goodyear, and Gilbert. Call 602-256-2525. Learn more, visit the website, phoenixspineandjoint.com.